So Colleen's housing market has a problem that nobody is talking about. Now I've known about this for a couple years, but it really just started to resonate with me this past weekend when I was out showing homes to a client who's gonna be PCS and into the area soon. And she said that some advice she received was, when you buy a house, buy it so that an E7 with dependents can rent it from you later on. Like that E7 with dependents is the avatar that she was aiming for when buying her property. Here's the issue. An E7 with dependents cannot afford to pay what she's paying for that house in rent. So that means she would have to pay money every month in order to keep that house as an investment property. And it just seems like hustling in reverse. And this is a real challenge that is affecting the community that is really the lifeblood of the real estate market here. Our military brothers and sisters are the ones who keep this train going. And right now, the amount that they're receiving every month for BAH does not cover the mortgage. Now, this is a real dilemma because our market is growing and thriving, but it's becoming more and more unaffordable for our soldiers where in the past if they bought a home then the entire amount of the mortgage was covered by their bah well right now that's just not happening and what i'm seeing more and more of is our military brothers and sisters kind of budgeting extra money out of their own pockets every month for a little piece of the american dream that they fought so hard for just think about this since 2018, the housing prices in Killeen, Texas have surged by a whopping 70%, while the BAH for an E7 with dependents, well, that's only gone up by about 34%. That's a pretty wide gap. So let's make this real. If you're an E7 with dependents right now, if you're only using your BAH, you can afford a house that's right around $175,000. Now, I don't know if you've seen what the houses look like in Killeen for $175,000, but it's really nothing to write home about. Now, again, this is assuming that you're only gonna use your BAH and that your interest rate is between about 6.5 and 7%, which is where we're seeing things right now. Now, let's hop in our time machine. Take a little trip to the past and see what a $175,000 house looked like in 2018 versus what it looks like today. Is what $175 bought you in 2018. Five bedrooms, three bathrooms, 2,680 square feet in one of the nicest parts of Killeen. This thing's got a basketball goal in the back, wood floors, it's move-in ready, stone countertops, nice open concept, two stories, Got a manicured lawn, a shed, an extended concrete back patio, and then yeah, the icing on the cake, that basketball goal. Let's see what 175 gets you today. So right now in Killeen, 175 can buy you a three bed, two bath, 1600 square feet, in a part of town that is kind of getting gentrified right now. No garage. Let's check out the inside. I think that is not central AC that I'm seeing. There's tile floors, but you know, these cabinets look like they're right out of the 1970s. Closed concept. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And the pink bathtub. This is crazy, crazy. What a huge difference. And this is what we want for our E7 with dependents. And it can also buy you one half of a duplex or townhome. It depends on how you want to say it. Now, this is a lot nicer. It's one half of a duplex. Let's see what else we can get. Also, we can get a manufactured home. That's another option. Still no garage there, but a lot nicer than that first. Now, this isn't to knock anybody's hustle or stop anybody from making money, but it is crazy what you could get in 2018 for 175 versus what you can get now. And you remember that house that we saw in 2018 that was 175? Well, Zillow's got that thing worth 310 right now. And I don't think they're that far off with their estimate. Crazy times, right? Now, what do the experts say? Some predict that we'll see housing prices drop this year by about 1% to 2%. And in the Killeen area, year over year, right now, we've only seen housing prices drop about a quarter of a percent. 
which is really a drop in the bucket. I mean, it's it's really negligible. And the one thing that I learned over these past couple years of like crazy real estate turmoil is the experts don't know much and nobody really knows what can happen with this real estate market. So it's crazy unpredictable. But if I had to make a prediction, I think based on population growth, our proximity to Austin and the industry that is coming into the area, housing prices are going to keep going up over the coming years. It's not going to be affordable again. Now that's really messed up. One of the big draws of Colleen as a place to buy real estate is the fact that it is affordable and that is affordable in comparison to a lot of the metros around it but it's becoming more and more unaffordable for the people that are really the heart of the real estate market so what are we gonna do now i firmly believe that the real estate in colleen right now is overpriced by about 10 to 15 percent but like even if prices dropped by that 10 or 15 percent it still doesn't bridge the gap between the bah that the soldiers get and the rising cost of houses like there's still a huge delta there that has to be made up somewhere so what's the solution i don't have the answers and if you do drop them in the comments but it looks like one of two things needs to happen we either need to see a massive price correction or Fort Hood slash Fort Cavazos, whatever you want to call it, they're going to need to increase the amount of BAH given to their members. Now, I've talked to a lot of people and they share this exact same sentiment. It's a real problem, but there's not a lot of press about it. So over the past couple of years, it feels like we really did put profits over people. And that's kind of a two-edged sword because some people got to really cash out on their investment while others that are looking to get into the market are really having trouble. And it's becoming more unaffordable by the day. So how do we find that balance? I don't know, but somebody needs to take some action immediately because it feels like we're sitting on a box of dynamite just waiting for it to explode it is crazy i hate to see my military brothers and sisters having to come out of their pocket to subsidize their mortgage so i really think one of the things that needs to happen is fort hood raise the bah but i don't know what effect that ends up having on the overall economy I'm not an economist, but I would like to see people be able to buy the house that they want and not settle for the house that they can afford using their BAH. All right. Hope you guys have a great one. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for spending a few minutes here with me today. Peace.